Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Shit Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to fix the PlayStation 4 system software not updating with the air code SU30746-0. So let's go ahead and jump the video right now. So if your system software on the PlayStation 4 simply is not updating, the best way to go ahead and fix this is by launching your PlayStation 4 into the safe mode. So on the PlayStation 4 right now, go ahead and press and hold down the PlayStation button on the controller. And then scroll down to power. And then go to turn off and completely turn off your PS4. Make sure there is no light on the top of the light bar on the console itself. Now go ahead and find a micro USB cable just like this so you can plug in your controller directly to the front of the PlayStation 4. So I have the USB end plugged in. Now let's plug in the controller end. Perfect. So on the top of my PlayStation 4, no power is on whatsoever. My PlayStation 4 is not in rest mode. Go ahead and press the power button down and hold it down. You'll hear one beep initially, and then about 10 seconds later, you will hear another beep. And this will launch our PlayStation 4 into the safe mode menus. So I heard another beep. Go ahead and let go, and your PlayStation 4 will launch into safe mode. Now to navigate the safe mode menu, you have to have your controller connected. Then press the PlayStation button, and here are the different options. So option number three is update system software. Let's select this. Now there's three different ways we can update the system software on the PS4. The first way is updating from a USB storage device, which could be a good option. However, there's multiple different steps to this. You have to go to the PlayStation website and download the software, get on a USB stick, and then plug it into your PlayStation 4 under this menu. Then number three, I suggest doing this first and just seeing if this helps your situation. Update using internet. So if you select this option, your PlayStation 4 will download the latest update and install it on your PlayStation 4. So if this doesn't work, try option number one, updating from a USB storage device. And if that doesn't work, go down to option number seven, initialize PS4 reinstall system software. You're going to have to go to the PlayStation.com website and get the latest software so you can go ahead and reinstall it on the PlayStation 4 and initialize your system. So go ahead and check out those different options in the safe mode menu and see if any of these do indeed help you out updating your system software when it won't. If this video did indeed help you, go and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on your Shake Studios.